is afraid that I'm gonna suck at it, and of course I'm gonna suck at it. Pop all over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Show you some of the products I've been using this week for Makeup Back Monday. Not inspired, guys. I did spend some money this week. I'd vlog because I'm actually trying to do things this weekend coming back from camping I realized I was creatively mentally drained that getting away is good for me I have one side of me that's like this to create and be inspired and have fun and then I have the other side of me which is a workaholic a little bit more type a everything has to be scheduled planned out charts Google calendars, Excel spreadsheets. It was like apples and oranges. I had to work a little harder, that's all. I feel like I'm always in conflict. When I got back, after lots of journaling and self-reflection, I realized I need to feed the creative part of me a little more and forgive myself for not always being on time, for not always having everything mapped out and charted and planned. It's okay to like, be a little bit more on the go and relax and chill the F out. I have the day to myself, slowly waking up, making myself a coffee, reading a little bit, relaxing. I meditated before I picked up my phone. I packed up some orders. I'm gonna actually walk it over to the post office and then head to meet Christine. She is doing pottery today. I did it once when I was in Hong Kong as a kid on a retreat and it was awful. Like I was really bad at it. Wanting to join Christine and try pottery, the more structured part of me is afraid that I'm gonna suck at it. And of course I'm gonna suck at it because I've never really done it. Fear of being bad or not good enough or making an ugly thing is keeping me from trying something that I could potentially really love and become good at if I wanted to. A few moments later. Good morning guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks to Semper today for sponsoring a portion of today's video and their new wellness. So basically, if you guys don't know already, Semper is a monthly fragrance subscription service. I've talked about them many times on my channel. You get one of these little vials and each month you get a 30 day supply of fragrance of your choice. These are all authentic luxury fragrances. You can always skip a month. There's no pressure. You can cancel at any time, which I love because you know, sometimes we need a little break. What they're offering now is that you can have the option to also get wellness products like gem. I'm obsessed with Gem. I went to a speaking engagement where the founder of Gem was there and I got to try out Gem products. I fell in love with the concept. The founder actually had a lot of food sensitivities, a lot of issues with supplements, but she also needed supplements. Why I really fell in love with this product was because it's all plant-based. It's got all of your essential multivitamins and minerals without a lot of the allergens that a lot of people are sensitive to nowadays. I have the Daily Essential for Women, and this is what it looks like. I know, it looks a little bit scary, but I swear it tastes better than most multivitamins. And I love it because it's all actual food. These are vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and corn-free. Everything I look for in my multivitamins. I don't want sugar. I don't want any of that crap, all those fillers. Love, love, love gem. Definitely check them out on Scentbird. And I have a discount code. Here it is across the string screen screen and in the description box in case you want to check out there'll be a link use my code at checkout for some money off i'm a coffee addict it's no surprise i try to limit myself to two cups a day first coffee chris brings it to me in bed i'm very lucky and i put my cbd in my coffee what i like to do with my coffees is kind of make it a little bit healthier there are a couple supplements that i take throughout the day and i want to share with you guys one that i take every single day we cannot go without it. Ashwagandha. I've taken it in capsule form. I've taken it as a mix with CBD and ashwagandha. This is in a powder form. So I'm going to have my second cup of coffee for today and make an ashwagandha latte. Do 
deal with a high stress situation or a high stress lifestyle kind of like I do, I'm just kind of a high strung person. <laughs> Ashwagandha is really help at managing your body's cortisol levels, which will also help for me personally, a lot of my hormone imbalances and hormone issues. And it also was keeping me from losing weight and I was holding on to everything. So after a ton of research, Chris and I realized that I needed to incorporate more ashwagandha into my lifestyle and as well as CBD, which helps manage my anxiety, stress, and depression. Cool thing is I saw that on Semper, they currently have Highline, which is a CBD brand. So if you were interested in checking out CBD, it's a much more affordable option to try out some of these really great quality supplements and wellness products. Definitely do your research, definitely talk to your doctors if you're curious and make sure if you have any pre-existing conditions medications or anything like that that you are doing your own research looking into things and checking with your healthcare provider before trying anything or ingesting anything take a half a teaspoon and I just put it into my afternoon latte so now while I'm drinking a lot of caffeine that might not be so great for anxiety it's okay because I'm balancing that out a little bit if you want to sweeten it I like using monk fruit because it's a natural sweetener don't go too much with this a little goes a long way delicious afternoon pick-me-up that's also good for me. I'm just so excited that Semper now has an option for wellness products and not just wellness products but really great quality. I'm gonna enjoy my afternoon latte full of ashwagandha to help with my stress and cortisol levels. There's also ashwagandha in the gem multivitamins which is awesome. Personally helps balance my hormones and my hormone imbalances as well as my cortisol levels which have affected my stress, my sleep, and my weight loss. You have to find what works for you but there's so many options on Semperd so I highly encourage you guys to check them out. I'm gonna enjoy my latte and let's get back to the vlog. It's so bloody freaking hot. I smell. <laughs> walked to the post office, got into an Uber pool, walked to the pottery studio, spent some time there with Christine. It was very like nice, but there's no air conditioning. It's like 100 degrees. Then I went with her to grab a green juice. I walked around and Chris finished his shoot. It met me out here. So now we're gonna go to House of Intuition because I want to look at incense. We're gonna go get some early dinner. Chuck all over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> Is he? I got it, yeah. <laughs> little child. I also got a Japanese brush, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. The natural sea sponge gets really soft and I don't feel like it's scrubbing my body and I feel like I have a layer of grime on me even after I shower. <laughs> I've been looking for a brush and I happened to like walk into a shop that sold it. It was a mom and pop shop. A card for my sister-in-law who is expecting. It's really hard to find cards that are for expectant mother mothers and not like mothers who have given birth. We got that card, I'm gonna make her a little care package. Hopefully she doesn't watch my vlogs. The next day. Honey's first time at the Rose Bowl. Hollywood Bowl. I packed us some food. We're gonna eat it and enjoy it before the show. What are we gonna see? Into the woods. Lots of food. Are you excited? Are you even hungry? Yes, I am. I bought some food. I made some cheeseburger. I want a cheeseburger. The next day. Hi. Morning. Oh. Oh. Cause we had sex last night. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> tired because I worked out. We went to the Hollywood Bowl, walked all the way up to the nosebleed section, enjoyed a three hour performance, and then walked home. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal. Workout done. I know a lot of you guys over on the second channel would like to see real-time workouts. Chris and I are going to do that. We're gonna rent a studio. The problem, the reason we haven't done it is because we haven't had We should have a space. place to film it. So we're going to rent a studio and do no equipment, real-time workouts so you can work out with the video. Two days later. Happy Wednesday. Time is flying like always. Just got back from my workout because we've got a busy 
rest of the afternoon into the evening we've got three meetings and events what i've been trying to do is pile all of the events and meetings into two three days out of my week so that i have time to edit and get the administrative work editing and content creating portion of my job done just trying to be more efficient with my time it will eat up your day to go four or five miles it's also why we moved more central we're paying more for square footage but it's made our efficiency a lot better but even with that being said things are all over town and just going four or five miles will eat up 30 to 45 minutes if not an hour of your time just commuting depending on the time of day not complaining just trying to be the most efficient and as least stressful as a human being as possible. I've been working on trying to figure out my new morning routine and once I figure that out, I think I might do a video if you guys are interested. It includes a little bit of beauty, but mainly like self-care and beauty within. I went, scheduled my workout for earlier in the day versus I like to typically work out after lunch or even after dinner or before dinner. I don't always get to do that depending on my schedule. So a lot of times I'll just skip my workout and I'm trying to be really, really good coming off of my six week cut because I had an incredible, incredible results. There were some really mentally, mentally challenging issues that I had to deal with trying to process all of the mental blocks, <sighs> issues I've been having that came up during this six week cut where I had to be very strict with my food. I thought I had overcome a lot of it and week six was probably the hardest and coming out of that is really challenging. So that wasn't supposed to be a sustainable way of living or eating. It was just to see how far I could push myself and a lot came out of that mentally and result wise physically. I'm gonna get ready and show you some of the products I've been using this week for Makeup Bag Monday not inspired guys a few moments later the second event i'm going to today actually asked me to not wear a ton of makeup because they're going to be color matching me so i'm just going to use a little concealer and do my brows so go through some of the things i just haven't been loving the new bare minerals blush i just don't really get it i i think it's more of like a gimmicky thing um, when you swatch it and touch it, it feels amazing, but on my skin, it just hasn't been doing it for me. And I don't know if it's the shade I have, like this one, maybe it's just too pink. I love the way they feel, they just don't look that great on my face. I haven't been like super inspired by this week's picks. few moments later I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else no one stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive when I'm in the <laughs> I'm making us some dinner, spaghetti bolognese, keto friendly version. Boiling the noodles and making the sauce. She recently on stories asked if you guys would want a cookbook from me and a lot of you guys said yes. So most of my recipes currently are all keto friendly but delicious for those not on keto. And really at the end of the day, Chris and I believe in eating whole foods whether you're keto or not. 
um, knowing what you're putting in your food. Healthy fats are great. Healthy carbs with rich in fiber is great. You definitely wanna make sure you're eating more uh, high fiber carbs than quick burning carbs, if that makes sense. What I'm doing right now. And Dolly is always scavenging for food. This is one of my favorite kind of quick whip up meals to have in the house. This will feed me and Chris for two, three meals, depending how hungry we are. The great thing is these noodles that are called miracle noodles, they have zero calories, zero carbs. Great way to enjoy pasta without adding all of that gluten, all of the carbs, all of the refined carbs, all that stuff. Um, and also my sauces can be used with regular pasta if you prefer. The way I cook, I kind of just cook like the way my mama cooked, which is throw a bunch of things together, taste it, throw more things together. I'm a very lazy cook, but very flavorful at the same time. The next day. I'm not usually ever too tall for anything, but this tripod I grabbed, apparently I'm too tall for. I think throughout the week I kind of shared with you how I wasn't super impressed with my makeup bag choices this week. I gave it one more shot since that little update. It's why I like doing Makeup Bag Mondays. It's why I like testing products out a little bit longer, rotating my makeup in a little bit longer because I changed my mind on a few things. This e.l.f. Jelly Pop Flush Brush. Flush blush. The texture is unlike anything I have ever played with in all honesty and it looks really really cool. The pigmentation is really impressive. The two shades I have do not work that well with my skin tone. I don't have an issue with the texture, the wearability, or even how it looks. It's just not my favorite for my skin tone. I think it's a really cool like watery watercolor almost iridescent blush not like a straight-up blush but I made it work as a blush topper I used it in conjunction with the bare minerals bounce and blur blush I liked it I hope they come out with more versions of this in different shades now I talked about how these were kind of like uninspiring to me in the beginning of the week but then I really fell in love with these two shades this one is in blurred buff bare minerals Bounce and Blur Blush. These are the new ones. And then the Coral Cloud. They work as a finger application. If you use a brush, you want a denser brush. My issue was the brush I was using wasn't working very well with this. This is not going to give you a ton of color payoff, but the longevity of the color actually is pretty impressive. I do like the texture. I wasn't a fan of how it was applying though because it was picking up a little bit on my dry areas. I'm going to keep the two shades I do like, which was Blurred Buff and Coral Cloud. It's why I like doing Makeup Bag Mondays, and I think it's why you guys like seeing my Makeup Bag Mondays, because my opinions definitely change when I'm forced to kind of play with things. First impressions are great too, but obviously like when you test things out, a lot of times it could be user error. I think this is why you guys love this series. But I also don't want to feel forced to use things, so I like this more casual way of life. With the Bare Minerals, Bounce and Blur collection. This is the Dusk or Warm eyeshadow palette. I don't wear a lot of eyeshadows right now, but I did just kind of like rub this and this all over my lids and blend it in. I actually really like this eyeshadow palette for a very natural, smooth, easy to wear kind of situation because it does blur very nicely. And if you're using the eyeshadow as just a one and done, it really has a nice effect. Now this would be a beautiful smoky pigmentation is really good. Bare Minerals really needs to get more credit for their eyeshadows. They do a great job with their eyeshadows. So I really liked this. I'm going to switch it out because I'll tell you why in a bit. But I didn't get a chance to use this this much this week because I, to be honest, just didn't reach for it. This is the Derma E Essentials Tinted Moisturizer BB Cream SPF 30. I think this is a really good affordable drugstore option for a light BB cream coverage. Now I was reading the reviews on this thing and a lot of people had mixed reviews about it. I don't have any issues with it. I think it's affordable. I do think depending on your skin type, this could potentially pill on you, but 
I think that's with any product. And at the end of the day, if you have texture, you really have to take care of your skin first. Nothing can really get rid of texture other than skincare. Like foundation isn't what you want to work with when you have texture. I like that it's a physical SPF. It's zinc oxide. It's an SPF 30. I do enjoy this. I think it's a good affordable option for those of you guys who are looking for a tinted moisturizing SPF. I don't know that this is enough because as I say, you should always wear more SPF. I always say wear a dedicated SPF and then wear something like a BB with an SPF as well um, because the amount of SPF you should really be wearing isn't usually the amount we're wearing in our beauty products. That's my thought on that. I'm gonna rotate this out just cause I'm gonna be testing something else out. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. This is a long wear powder. I'm in the shade Y305. This is really beautiful at just giving me a little bit of coverage or building it up to almost full coverage. Spray it down if it gets a little powdery, but it doesn't pill. It doesn't cling to any of my dry areas. It maintains my shine and oily areas. It's just a really great, beautiful powder. It has a really unique sponge applicator too. One side is like more of a velvet sponge. The other side is more of a traditional and it's just amazing. I think it's really great powder, especially if you have combination skin, dry skin, mature skin, if you have more fine lines. This powder is really, really awesome. Combination skin, so super oily here, very dry and textural around here, and this works. I am gonna rotate this lip product out because I thought I would wear more corally reds for the rest of summer. Love this product though. Christine gave it to me, it's so good. It's Style Nata Velvet Lip Tint. Take this out. I have no issues with the fluff bronzer. I just think it's really heavy and kind of cumbersome. It's a really beautiful packaging, although you're getting fingerprints and all that kind of stuff on it, but um, it's a good it's a good product. It looked nice on me all week. For my brow products, I'm still gonna keep this Kamiko Super Fine Eyebrow Pencil because I just love it. So next week's theme is going to be Clean Beauty. So this is also clean, available at Detox Market. I'm not quite sure about the cleanliness of Thrive Cosmetics. I don't think there's anything wrong with it or scary about it. I'm just probably going to uh, rotate it out to be safe and go back to soap brows. I love this Clay de Poe concealer and I've been using it for two weeks now. I really like it, it's still really good. Um, um, I have the old packaging because mine's definitely older. The highlight I was using last week was the Healthy Glow Powder in 4.5 Dore. This is limited edition from Givenchy. This is a really beautiful champagne -y highlight. And then, of course, I have the Ilia Highlight in Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in Nova. Love this stuff so much. That was like a favorite that I just wanted to use and rotate in. This one I did find... Um, was very brightening. If you are looking for that like glow, you'll like this. I just really love these NARS lip glosses and I forget how much I love NARS lip glosses, but I am rotating them out. Clean brands only for next week's makeup bag in honor of the Kosas and in honor of Wellness Month. I have the Zuzu Luxe Clear Mascara. I'm gonna rotate that out just cause I haven't used it in a couple weeks. And Thrive Cosmetics lip gloss still in here, but rotating that out. Ilia Waking Up multi pigment matte pigment color haze love this stuff i don't know yet if i'm going to rotate that out and then these nars lip pencils which are also really great i just i'm going to rotate them out now i wanted to update you guys that i threw in this cosmetic lumi crystal liquid crystal lip hydrator in my purse and i really enjoy this as just an on its own kind of hydrating balm and then I also like the new Jouer tinted lip balms these are incredible I have them kind of hidden all over the house and in all of my purses super hydrating with a beautiful even sheer wash of color because you know sometimes tinted lip balms don't have an even distribution of pigment these are absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful they don't slip and slide either so I don't find that I have shit color shiz all over my teeth um, really enjoy those I do have a discount code with Jouer, which all my discount codes are always in the description box. And then I'm updating you guys on this cool Skinny Dip SPF lip balm. Um, I don't feel like it's ultra hydrating, but I'm going to still use it a little bit longer and see how I get along with this. So Kula is considered clean, even though they use chemical SPF, which I don't think is the cleanest. This is what is going to be coming up next week. If you want to find out my thoughts, if you want to know any of these reviews and see how I continue to rotate my makeup, 
for Makeup Bag Mondays. Make sure you check back every Sunday for my Sunday vlogs. The vlog series is now including Makeup Bag Mondays. I'll try and include Makeup Bag Mondays in the title or in the thumbnail of the Makeup Bag Mondays, but just know it's every Sunday there's a Makeup Bag Monday. If you follow me on Instagram, I always update you guys on stories as well. Throw in the Makeup Meets Skincare Tinted Face Oil from Kosas. I have two shades, 05 and 06. I think 06 is actually more my shade, but I'm gonna throw both of these in here. I'm going to throw in these absolutely stunning new Kosas 10 second eyeshadows. So these are water pigments and they look like the most gorgeous things when I swatch them. They're pigmented, they look like watercolors, they look so effortless and beautiful. So I'm gonna just throw all of them in my makeup bag to test out. For a fun, corally red lipstick, I thought I would try this new lipstick from Kosas that they sent me, which is in Thrillist. My Bite Lip Pencil, that is clean. I'm keeping my Ilia. I'm also rotating in a clean version of a concealer. This is Clove and Hallow. A clean version of some powders. I have the Lima Pure Powder. This is a foundation powder that builds up coverage. And then I thought a loose setting powder from Lawless because in case I need to set. Um, so I'll bring both of those in there. I am going to keep the Ilia Liquid Illuminating Serum in Nova. Add in my Lila B bronzer in Be Sun Kissed. I'm going to test out this new beautiful cream blush and highlight from Kosas, Tropic Equinox. Just in case I don't like it, I am going to have my Ilia waking up. I have the Kosas Sport Hyaluronic Lip Balm and Warm Tan Pulse. That looks so cool. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this in there as well. And that is going to be my makeup bag for the upcoming week. If you wanna know about any of these products, make sure you check back. I did spend some money this week. I bought some workout clothes. Chris and I have something planned for the second channel um, based on comments and based on video requests. We are going to start working on changing and transitioning the channel Serene and Chris to a health wellness and fitness channel since that's really what we're passionate about on top of what we do here it's just such a big part of our life and we have access to a lot of information and education just because of our passion for it and our friends um, many of you guys might know chris is a brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner i have always been very very active except for a brief period of where I got incredibly depressed and gained a lot of weight due to stress and grief and some hormonal imbalances. This year it's really been about me getting back to my health and I have the whole series getting fit at 35. We're going to listen to your requests over there which was to create real-time workouts that you can do at home. So for us to do that, we have to rent studio space to film them and plan it out like way in advance and all that stuff. So. Based on that, and just the fact that I live in workout clothes five, six days a week, I went and picked out some things from Lululemon and Aloe Yoga, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have known I was struggling with trying to find sports bras that fit my rather large chest, but small rib cage, without me spilling out of it or without me feeling just like a sausage. So the only thing I ended up getting at Lulu was this these pair of shorts. It's the Align High Rise Short 4 inch. They're super lightweight. They're the same fabric that I absolutely love and invest in when I get my cropped leggings. I love that it's high waisted because it just provides more coverage in the area that I'm a little more conscious about. I personally like shorter shorts. Um, there are very few longer bike shorts that look right on me because I'm 5'4", but all of my height comes from my torso. Anything that is too long or too short makes me look a little lopsided. Shorts are kind of a challenge for me. These actually, I feel good in them, and they do rise up a little bit as I'm working out, but it's not that big of a deal. The shorts were $48, and then with tax, it was $52.56. I don't feel guilty about it because I've been telling you guys for months now that that's where I was going to spend my budget was going to be on new activewear that was sustainably made, ethically sourced and ethically made as much as possible. It was really, really good quality because I don't believe in fast fashion at, or more importantly, I don't believe in disposable fashion. So I'd rather spend a little bit more for my clothes to last many, many years 
and then also know that people working for them are getting paid ethical wages now in terms of the sustainability of the fabrics and um, the close circle in terms of how much water waste and all that stuff that gets really complicated and hard hard to distinguish at times and because brands don't have to disclose it it's always kind of like this wonky little thing I've been doing a lot of research and I have been doing a lot of research and I'm not a hundred percent perfect by any means but I also wanted to do a video and I don't know if I should do it on this channel or my second channel geared towards fitness about brand ethics and which brands I support monetarily when it comes to fitness clothes because I also want to support brands that are all inclusive in body types, ethnicities, and equality when it comes to um, marketing. I think it's so important for us to see real women and real body sizes and body types at all health levels so obviously i want to see healthy people which makes sense that they're usually a certain athletic built or type but at the same time someone can be super healthy like i'm really strong right now thanks to all the training i've been doing with jonathan but i have a little bit of fat pockets like i have a little bit of a love handle my abs aren't perfectly defined i still my arms aren't perfectly defined i'm not like shredded but i am really strong because of how hard I've been working to build my strength. So I just think it's important to see real, strong, healthy body types at every level, including the super shredded to the not so super shredded, but still very strong and active. There's my spiel. I always second guess because there's always more research that could be done. And again, I'm not 100% perfect and I don't ever want you guys to think that that's the case because I still have target workout clothes too you, you got to find a balance but the target workout clothes I buy I try to make sure I'm buying quality and that it's going to last me more than just a couple of months still have old navy workout shorts from high school from cheer camp still wearing them they lasted a really long time so here's my sports bra from aloe I like this cut because it just gives me a little more coverage it's not very padded or thick or whatsoever so you're not getting a ton of support but if you're doing yoga or if you're doing Pilates or a little bit more light jumping days this will be totally fine this was $62 and then I got this cute set from aloe this is the bra it's got this like it's a green it's got this like is it heathered or feathered I don't remember what's called but it's a racer back this one is $62 size small it's the all Allo soft base bra dive right in and it's not super padded or anything like that but this one has a little more support than the black one I purchased the matching pants to go with these so this is high-waisted and it's the high-waist lounge legging chill zone $98 and the bottom has this cuff now the one thing I don't like about aloe is that they're about the same if not more expensive than Lulu but they don't offer hemming or tailoring of any sort whereas Lulu offers free tailoring for all of their products you can even wear your leggings for a while and then decide that you want to have them hemmed and they will hem it they'll even take in sports bras so that they fit better especially like in the shoulder length it's just something that I think aloe could do a little bit better about especially for the price that they're charging when I know that Lulu is able to do it they still make really gorgeous cute clothes they're still relatively ethical and sustainable although there's a couple other things that I still think that they could do better and that Lulu can do better and I'll talk about that in my video I just don't know where I'm gonna put this video and I have to sit down and actually film it. <gasps> okay, item total was $222, tax was $2109, total spent $243.09. A lot more than I wanted to spend, but I don't feel guilty because all those pieces I'm going to wear quite a bit, quite excessively. I actually am out of workout clothes because since losing some of the weight, a lot of my sports bras don't fit properly, a lot of my pants don't fit properly, and um, it was just kind of time. It was just time, guys. I did a Gymshark haul a while back, and pretty much none of my Gymshark workout clothes are still wearable. And I'll update you guys on that as well in that video. So that's all I spent this week that was not a part of my bills or normal spending. Other than, like, my monthly bills because it's the first right now, there's nothing new 
to report other than my purchases at Lulu and Allo. Um, still feel really good. Still feel like I'm relatively on track in my financial journey. Don't have an urge to shop other than for workout clothes right now because of Rent the Runway, thankfully. And I have a whole review on that. If you guys are curious, I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. The Runway has been amazing for me. I haven't had the urge to buy new clothes or even browse for fashion. I really love thrifting, but because thrifting is such a constant thing, I I never overspend while thrifting either and it's such a small amount of spending when I do and honestly Chris has paid for all the thrifting because we did it mainly before we went camping and a lot of it was for camping I have had urges to like want to eat out and I don't know if that's because I've been so strict with what I'm eating and putting in my body for the last few months that I'm kind of just like I just want to go out and eat I say go out and eat meaning like appetizers entrees sides dessert and that can be unhealthy not just for me as an emotional eater but it can be unhealthy as an overspender so I have to figure out like what is appropriate and really sit with that for a little bit I feel confident I feel like I'm growing I feel like this journey is happening I really love incorporating makeup bag Mondays back in here this last week's I will have it linked in the description box Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday or what's left of it. Or if you're watching on Monday, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram. Stories, really. I love hanging out with you guys over in the DMs and on stories. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And bye.